p.m. here, damaging wind, isolated tornadoes, part of the discussion from the experts at the Storm Prediction Center. We're in the upper 60s to near 70 and probably as warm as we get all day as the clouds thicken, the showers come, temps will drop off a little bit, but we'll continue to see more and more rain and thunder moving in. And then stronger stuff again, mainly between 6 p.m. and midnight. Paul Gross will be in and certainly keeping you ahead of the storms. But we always encourage you to get that local forecasters app, the interactive radar, but you'll get any kind of warnings or any issues that are going constant updates. What you really need in on days like today. Tomorrow we're going to clear out the winds are going to start really whipping out of the west southwest. So that is something to watch both Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Right now again we are seeing showers well to our south so we can go ahead and just track this real quickly where we see about uh, 30 mile an hour uh, movements on this to the north and east so it is heading up into parts of southern Monroe southern Lenawee counties again garden variety. We're waiting for the cold front to really wreak havoc. That will be the big spark for that bullseye area we talked about, but also later in the day for us. So through the afternoon, we continue to get these call them garden variety rain and thunder showers, but keep your eyes to the skies. We'll be watching it very closely as well. And then even into the evening, look at some of those cells that are popping up around seven, eight. 9 p.m. Again, we do clear out nicely tomorrow and near 60 degrees, but gusty winds and a midday shower Friday. That should be it for the Easter weekend, albeit colder. Okay, well, we could take that, Brandon. Thank you.